<clears throat> Howdy, y'all. This here is Big Country. Big Country Survival. Excuse me. I had to adjust. <laughs> so, uh. You know. I've been thinking about a lot of stuff, um. Here lately. I've had a lot going on, um. You know, water freezing and my entire well house freezing off and then just every day almost something different with it and it's it's been been going on like that for a little while so I haven't been doing videos for a little bit <laughs> and that's why um and then uh, the other night um I had a switch that went bad it just I also wound up having um, my place almost catch fire um, faulty wiring got that problem corrected today <laughs> um, I mean it literally the outlet was melted and the breaker did not trip and the dingbats didn't know how to run wire is what it was anyway and and then and then you've got you know in the grand scheme of things you've got this government shutdown you know and and I just that ticks me off I mean as a veteran myself it just ticks me off I mean, and as an American in general, it ticks me off that these people are using military government employees as pawns. I mean, yeah, we're still having a military. And the government shut down when I was in back in uh, 2013. The government shut down for like 16 days or so. I still got a paycheck. Um, my bank, you know, Navy Federal Credit Union, um... You know, and then some other banks do something similar to that. Um, they covered, they covered my paycheck. And the guys that didn't have that were freaking out. And, and everything was provided for for them. I mean, you know, they, they had every basic necessity covered. Food, water, and a place to stay, right? Now, the married guys, okay, that was a little different, a little different scenario for them, because uh, they had to live in town with their family, and they, you know, they get behind on rent, stuff like that, right, that's, that's, that's a one thing, but it, it's really, all of this stuff is getting me to thinking, prepping is not about Tiawaki. It's not about a world without rule of law. I mean, that's a part of it. But prepping, it's... Okay, I'm not going to get a paycheck this week. Do we have enough to cover the bills? And do we have enough food in the house? I mean, that's part of prepping. Prepping is... My truck broke down. It's negative 13 degrees. Um, and I got a, you know, I'm in a spot that doesn't have cell phone signal. Am I dressed warm enough? Do I have the warm clothes required? I mean, do I have stuff that I can keep warm, keep from getting frostbit? Um, as I walk trying to find cell signal or to a gas station or something like that, you know, to get help. That's what prepping is. Um, you know, prepping is all of those things. I mean, prepping is having a fire extinguisher, a smoke detector. Um, you know, having a means to escape the house. Um, you know, 
It's like, I know they make these things, um, I know someone who got some for, uh, a child of theirs that was going off to college for their dorm room, um, and it's like a little roll-up ladder, um, I've had, I've seen similar ones, you know, on, uh, on ship, um, but, uh, like a roll-up ladder with, um, yeah, the, the long parts are actually rope, and, uh, the foot cross rails there are, are made of plastic, um, but, I mean, things like that. That's prepping. That's prepping. Too often we get, and and I I understand why. It's because it's cooler. We get so caught up in prepping for Tiawaki, a world without rule of law, the nuclear zombie apocalypse. We we get too caught up in that crap. Um. I'm guilty of it just like everybody else. Um, and, and, and that's part of prepping. That is a part. Because those things could happen. Well, maybe not the zombie apocalypse, but... Or whatever it was that I just said. Um, maybe not that. But, uh... But, you know, two walkie could happen. You know, and that for... I don't know if I said it. The end of the world as we know it. A world without rule of law. Um, to anyone who's unfamiliar with those acronyms. Um, but, you know, it's... <clears throat> prepping is for those things. Um, you know? Prepping for a government shutdown. You're a government employee. Um, what are you going to do? I wasn't worried when it happened. I mean, even if, you know, even before I found out that Navy Federal covered me. Um, I wasn't worried. My basic needs were going to be met. And if they were not, I had enough money stashed away. I mean... You know, albeit I pissed a lot of money away on stupid stuff when I was in, but I still, uh, I still managed to, you know, I still had a decent amount saved up, uh, enough that I could live for a couple of months. I mean, I had that, I had that taken care of, um, and I understand some guys don't, but, you know. That is preparedness. Making sure you're covered on that. I don't understand some people. You know, there's some people out there that, you know, they live paycheck to paycheck to paycheck. Um, you know, I'm, you know, and, and it's some of it because, you know, they don't make that much in their job, right? And some of it, if you buy stupid stuff you don't need, right? Buy stuff you can't afford to impress people that you don't like. Keep up with the Joneses. Don't ever try to keep up with the Joneses because they're flat broke and dead up to their eyeballs. Um, don't ever try and keep up with the Joneses. Um, you know, all that stuff, that's all encompassed in preparedness. And and maybe if you're if you're trying to win someone over... Start with those things. I mean, you have a fire extinguisher in the house, right? <laughs> you know, you're not planning that there's going to, you know, you don't expect that there's going to be a fire. But there could be. You know, you have smoke detectors. There could be a fire. Um, you have a dog or a burglar alarm or, you know, a 12-gauge shotgun under your, under your bed or something. <laughs> It'd be interesting to have a pillow big enough to put a 12-gauge shotgun underneath. I suppose you could get one of those riot guns, but anyway. You know, you got a 12-gauge shotgun. Load up double-op buck or slugs or something. 
I mean, you're not expecting that there's going to be, a, you know, a guy break into your house. You know, I don't expect that. But it could happen. So, I have prepared, you know, plans and equipment and all of that. I, I prepared accordingly. I know, I was like... Um, you know, that is preparedness. Um, you know, when you get into the year supply of food, that's, you know, where a lot of people get all freaked out, like, oh no, those crazy doomsday preppers. But it's really, it's no different than having a fire extinguisher. It's no different. Um, it's no different than trying to make sure you've got at least like a month's worth of, you know, bills paid for in case you lose your job. Um, you know, that's, that's preparedness. Um, you know, it's living within your means, not going into debt out the butt. Just because, you know, I don't know, you need the newest checks boxer. <laughs> yes, I did that on purpose. You know, it's it's not, you know, blowing your life savings on something stupid. Um, uh, you know, that's preparedness. And... You know, that's just my thoughts. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Till next time, this here is Big Country with Big Country Survival. I'm signing out, and God bless.